What is up everybody, Scape211 here with another Mech Arena video. We're playing some more tournament, of course. It's the best thing to do in this game. Um, and I haven't, I don't think I've talked about this map, Hanging Greens, uh, or, or done a video with it. Um, this one is a decent map. It's It's got some nice elevation areas. It's got some uh, areas for cover if you want direct damage. It's got decent range and um, and it, you know areas where you can use both your uh, javelins and your rocket mortars. So all that's really good. Uh, during this, I'm going to try and talk a little bit about the state of the game and the economy. I know they've been changing some things in the economy, uh, much to the dismay of, of many players. Um, kind of sucks right now, but you know I just wanted to share thoughts on that while I play. Hopefully, I can talk well enough about it uh, while I play. Um, I haven't really looked too much on Discord or Facebook or anything on social media, so I don't know how much this would jive. Uh, Alright, so decent teams back and forth. We'll start, of course, with uh, kill shot, Three, And I want to get way two, up there, if you can see one, underneath my numbers. Um, that's where I want to be. I find that to be my most effective spot. Get out of my way. Um, you can also hang right there, but I like being all the way up here. It just uh, gives lock. you... I feel like the right location, um, although I, I don't really have great targets yet. Okay, that guy's coming into play. Although it's juggernaut, which isn't always the best. Solid. Um, harder targets to straight up kill. Yeah, most of the enemies are keeping a little bit Rockets. further back. Our team's doing well. I haven't gotten like any kills though, so oh well, it is what it is, right? All right, so he put that up there. Anyway, um, so yeah, back to talking about the game's economy. So. They changed some things that obviously a lot of players didn't like, uh, and I totally agree, it, it's a bummer. Um, but at the same time, I also think of it like, you know, we we want this game to have a long track record. We want it to do well. Um, so I want to make sure that they, you know, are getting the funding they need. So how do you find the balance there? Uh, what's the balance of they get the funding they need and we get to play the kind of game we want to play, right? So. Um, I, I've been playing a lot of other games, as I'm sure all of you have, too. Um, I've been playing a couple collectible card games, uh, a couple well-known ones on my phone, and that's Hearthstone and the most more recent uh, Rune Terra. So if you probably know of these games or may have heard of them. Not Rock. not similar to all of this game, but they're, they're well-known IPs, well-known games, um, because they come from the World of Warcraft lore and the... Um, Humiliation. Uh, the uh, League of Legends lock. lore. Tracking so they're, they're, you know, not just chump games or just random games, for sure. They're, they're well-known IPs. Um, so they have a lot behind them. Um, and, lock. you know, Hearthstone has been around for a while and has kind of set the benchmark Five, for four, uh, a free-to-play trading card game, especially in the mobile market. Solid lock. Um, and, you know, they've been doing very well and, and establish a good balance of you know, how to acquire cards, earn cards, uh, as well as, you know, what's what's the best model for them to be able to make money. Uh, and I think done really well at that. And Runeterra, Legends of Runeterra came about just recently, or fairly recently in terms of a global launch. And their card acquisition in comparison is very generous. And it's, it's really doing that, I'm sure, just to be able to, you know, be in this competitive space. And, uh, they're doing a, a good job, I feel like, of making their game seem really enticing, fun, as well as achievable for any player if you're free to play. Now, uh, you know, in this kind of landscape, in the mech landscape, we have things like um, uh, War Robots and Robot Warfare and uh, Battle for Titans, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, it's, it's something where Mech Arena, I think, has good potential to do well in the space. War Robots has been around for a long time. Rockets a lot of people lock. know it, but some people have also complained that it's pretty pay to win or, or it feels very Solid pay to win lock. heavy Tracking at times. So if there's other options out there that provide ways to play without having to pay through the nose, man, it's, it's hard to <laughs> hard to play and shoot or and talk at the same time. Um, Rockets doing pretty bad at it. Uh, <laughs> the um, I, I don't know. I, I feel Rockets like the lock. the player base. Um, you know, can really help them hone that in, and I, I, I hope that we can. But I worry about it if they make it 
fire too, you know, uh, currency heavy without providing enough methods of gaining the currency. Uh, like for right now, the only way to really reliable get the currency you need to upgrade your guys is through tournament play. And Five, yeah, I like tournament play four, and I think it has three, a place. It's not bad, one, but it's not something two, that, you know, three, all players want to do and play it match. well. <clears throat> you need to play it a ton. I did okay there. <laughs> I could have done better, but it's hard to do while talking. But my point is that uh, I think they need some more co-op or more casual methods of play that are going to get you A coins. For instance, I see no reason why the daily challenge crate that when you get, or if you do all seven, you can't get like 50 to 100 A coins so that you can get some daily. I mean, even throughout the whole week, that's still only 700-ish A coins. And it's not even going to get you a decent upgrade after you get anything, a, a mech or a weapon to three stars. Um, you know, so just the acquisition of coins should have more casual methods as well as competitive methods. It would be cool to see co-op modes like a really strong AI bot, almost like a boss versus a whole team of players that play co-optively. Uh, and then depending on how long you stay in the match, you can gain rewards from that. It also allows like other mechs like MD to kind of shine where they, they play a little bit more with the team. Um, but you know, those are just various thoughts. I mean, I, I feel like other methods of play, other ways of getting A coins that aren't just dependent on, you know, super competitive tournament play, I think are really gonna be a nice thing that this game can add, especially if they wanna keep the economy in the way that they are. Um, I'm not totally opposed to it, I just think there needs to be a bit of fairness in there and not just killing yourselves daily for tournament. Um, I don't know. That's just me. I think they benefit from some variety if they want to change the economy. And even if they don't change the economy into the way, they're going to need that level of variety soon anyway. Um, but those are just my, my initial thoughts on it. I mean, if you guys have heard other things in Discord, had other thoughts... Uh, you can comment them below or you can go onto the Mech Arena discords or Facebook and just, you know, voice some of your opinions on how you feel and maybe suggestions. I know they're open to hearing suggestions. So, you know, hopefully this will hit the global launch soon, but hopefully in a way that's going to be fun and awesome for all of us, especially the new players. So anyway, all that said, uh, hope that was an interesting discussion for you guys. Keep the discussion going. Let's make this game awesome, and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.